Brought to you by our friends at Wicked Ways Muay Thai. Make sure you check them out on Instagram. If you want to hook up with something legit, check out our friends at Wicked Ways Muay Thai. They will hook you up. They are hooking you up right now with an amateur MMA bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Coming out first, gonna be fighting out of the red corner, standing six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 245.5 pounds, and making his amateur MMA debut. Let's hear it for Perez Brothers MMA fighter, Daniel Munoz Perez! Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Daniel Munoz Perez. Coming out, this young man is six feet, three inches tall. He weighed in 245.5, he is 27 years old with a perfect amateur MMA record of 0-0-0. So what do we know? One of those O's has gotta go. All right, what do we know about this guy, Ryan? Well, this is the other guy from Team Perez Brothers MMA that we right. were referring to. If you remember last time out, his brother had that uh, knockout. The, the, the knockout the by takedown. By takedown, the slam, yes. right? Um, so I'm actually kind of curious what we're going to see here. I mean, he is a bigger guy. He is up here at heavyweight. Yes. So I'm curious what we're going to see out of him. Yeah, no, it, he's definitely a bigger guy. He's uh, his brother was five foot ten. He's six foot three. He's five inches taller than his brother. He's kind of I'm going to call him the giant in the family. Well, and, uh, and, and he is going to have the size advantages in this matchup. I believe what he weighed in and Daniel weighed in to 245. Yes. Um, you'll see here our next guy coming out right now. All right, and his opponent tonight gonna be fighting out of the black corner, standing six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 219 pounds, also making his amateur MMA debut, doing it for Hapkaido. Let's hear it for Nicholas Johnson. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have Nicholas Johnson walking out right now. He is six foot one inch tall. He weighed in at 219 and a half pounds and representing Team Hapkaido. What do we know I, about that? I, I don't know much about Team Hop Kaido. I, I, I would immediately think that he's got a background in Hop Kido. Yes, yes. But that's just me. I know he's got Kofi Jitsu doing his uh, Vaseline right now, making sure he's ready. I, I think that Kofi kind of volunteered to corner all of the guys okay, that okay. are fighting out of an actual gym tonight. Uh -huh. So he, he's come out a few times, even the, in the previous uh, Munoz fight uh, when uh, Kenna Valley was unconscious. Yes, yes. So that was actually see uh, Kofi cornering him as well. So okay. Cash Valley MMA kind of stepping in and helping corner some of the guys that don't have anybody to corner for them tonight. So I don't know anything about Nicholas Johnson, but I do know he's got that perfect record. So 0-0 yeah, well, and, oh and one of those O's is going to go. That's right. So on paper, this is a good looking matchup. You yes, know, yes. The, the Team Perez Brothers MMA, that's not really a, a gym. I, that's just the Perez Brothers. Uh, they yeah. train together. <laughs> they, they, they work in and out. And they're, they're coming out and trying to make that big first impression. But they're not a big, reputable gym that people know about yet. Maybe they are, but they're not known. Right? Yes, yes, yes. And then you've got Team Hopkido uh, coming out and getting cornered by a completely different gym in yeah, Cash Valley. Cash Valley yes. So it, on paper, this, this, this matchup looks great. The big difference is the size difference that you mentioned a little earlier. Height-wise, you've got Daniel at two inches taller, but weight-wise, 26 pounds at weigh -ins. Wow. 26 pounds at the date of the weigh-in, which was last night. Well, so. They're both big guys. Yes. So, I mean, honestly, they're going to have their, their skills. I would assume that Nicholas would be a little bit more agile, you, um, you might have a bit more speed. You know, it's easy to assume that, but we've seen some big guys. I mean, even oh. earlier, ooh, nice back spin kick. I was going to say, even earlier tonight when you got Kung Fu Panda coming out with some quickness. Yes, yes, yes. So the, some of these big, big guys, guys can, can, can move. Oh, looks like he got clipped a little bit, and he's going to take it down. He's got his back. He got underneath. He's got a hook in. But he's, he's, at, staying, he's at that side down. angle. I'd love to see him get his hooks and yeah. kind of reestablish those legs before really wasting too much energy with the squeeze. It looks pretty sunken in. He, he, he's in well, the right, no, oh, no. he was yeah, in the right beautiful. spot, but not the right angle to really yes, get it yes. on tight. A great job by Nicholas Johnson getting that transition, turning around and, and putting the pressure on. And now Johnson's got the guillotine. guillotine. He lost the arm. 
A great scramble by both these guys. Yes. This, this is a great this, match. No, this, there's a lot of activity going on and some good scrambling and reversals happening in this match so far. They're about to do it again. This time Johnson sprawled out, trying to put that pressure down. So he's got a little bit more wrist control now. Nice. nice. Pick that ankle. Munoz Perez pick the ankle and yeah. just drive through. Yeah, I love that. But, but that body <laughs> yeah. that, that that body control that Nicholas had with that gable grip just kind of pulling him around. Yeah. Great transition so far in this match. I and mean, this has been a back and forth, back and forth, this whole first round. Yeah, this jockeying. This going to be very difficult to oh, judge. Oh, yeah. No, this this whole round so far has just been jockeying four positions to try and do yeah, something. Look, look like that. Just I mean, constantly. Look, and look. and at this weight class, seeing this much yeah. movement and transition on the ground is pretty impressive. I mean, look at that. I mean, th this is a back and forth, back and forth. You can't say who's winning, who's not. No, because One no one's establishing a dominant position. No, no, they almost get there. They get like 90% there. Yes. And then they lose it. Now, if it was a jiu-jitsu tournament, maybe there's a couple times that there's three seconds. Yeah, yeah, and, yes. and they can, but we're not in a jiu-jitsu tournament. No, You're not no. establishing like, points. Like right there. He yeah. almost had a good position. We and then he lost turtle, and so now we have an okay position. But my guess is we'll see some movement pretty well, soon. It, right now, yeah, Daniel right uh, Munoz Perez is, is absolutely, so yeah, he's absolutely in a dominant position right the here. The whole fight, and this is the best we've seen. Controlling that wrist, trying to get at the head, landing some shots. I, I'd love to see uh, Nicholas Johnson start standing up. That's what I'd be yelling at him in the corner. Yes, but yes. he's got ten seconds left. He can kind of work this round out without taking too much damage, I think. Yeah, he'll get through it and we'll definitely be on to round two. Yep. And there you go, round two. Now, wow. la ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you understand how difficult it is for guys that are that heavy to be well, forcing. It, it's not just that they were rolling around. They were forcing each other into different positions. It wasn't just moving underneath someone. It, like, with that takedown, the, the ankle pick that you saw Daniel get on Nicholas Johnson, and then immediately followed by Nicholas Johnson getting that body wrap and rolling <laughs> him on his shoulders over, all the way over, you know, ass overhead yeah, 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 yeah. to change the position. I mean, that was great. Yeah, I mean, what you're seeing is just, that's what I said the wow for was, I mean, that was quite the the, the round. It was an athletic round. Yes, but by our heavyweight. Yes. That's not what you say all, see all no, the time. No, no, this is like watching WWE without it being scripted. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> it's, it's real. It's like it's pro real professional wrestling with the real professionals. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> And they're actually truly oh, doing Sorry, it. amateurs. Yes, amateurs, <laughs> but we understood what you meant. Oh, uh, hopefully. I was on the same page with you, at least. And that's what counts. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to see a round number two. And our referee is making sure, Tyler Thompson, make sure everything's good to go. And we're about to start this second round. Sounds good to me. I, I really want to see what this, the, the rounds two and three, if we get to three, uh, look like. With the amount of pace they were putting on that athleticism, Ooh, I'm kind of excited big for. hands from Munoz Perez. Ooh, he caught him. He caught him again. And Johnson's able to slip out of those. Yeah, but he's pretty he's, he's, a, I, I think oh, he's, he's a little rocked. Yeah, but he still slipped out of a lot of those big shots that Daniel started throwing at the end there. Let's see. We got this choke. What's he gonna do? I, I don't know if he's going for the choke no, or if no, he's no. just trying to just control, control the body. Yeah. Ooh, big shots. Well, he's doing a lot of damage with these, oh, these hands. Daniel's got some heavy hands when they're landing. Oh, he's a big boy. Yes. I mean, he gets what, all 245, was it? Yeah. yeah, 245 and a half. Nice sprawl. Good. Dominant Good. position. Good job keeping the balance. Now he's transitioned into that uh, that wrestling stance, the ref's position. Nice shot to the body. Oh, that one had some impact. Yes, yes. Well, this round is all Daniel. Daniel. Yes. Yeah. Now he's got mount. Got that knee across. He's, he's not really landing anything. Johnson's doing a really good job of kind of getting his arms in the way and making it difficult for Daniel to land some solid punches from this position. 
Yep, I'd like to see Daniel maybe cross face yeah, as he's doing. And and there he goes. Start dropping him down. Yep. Gets a little separation and lands yes. some heavy shots. Work on pinning the arm down. Yeah, dragging the arms, clearing them before you throw punches. Mm -hmm. But good busy action. I, I do like that Johnson is actively trying to defend. He's not just curling up. Taking him. I mean, what's well, keeping him in the fight? Yes. I mean, that's what's keeping this fight from being stopped if he wasn't. I mean, you could see him. I mean, referee's here. Tyler's there. He's all over this. Well, and, and one thing that Tyler and Dave say in the fighter meeting before the fight is you need to actively defend yourself. That means covering up is not actively defending yourself. Putting your hands, trying to transition, and he had yep. enough of it, and this fight's over. Great well, you, job. You heard him. He said, protect yourself. Yes. That was about the time in which he was done. Yeah, you, know? you have to and, actively and, and, try to improve your position. Uh, honestly, I think that Johnson, that Nicholas Johnson did a great job of working and trying to get those arms in the way to, to ease up some of those shots, but Daniel Munoz Perez did a great job enforcing his will. Yeah, I mean, he ended up just overcoming them at the end. It's just overwhelming. Um, you know, at the end of the day, he was a little bit too big for him. You know, I'd honestly like to see Nicholas Johnson down at 205. Yeah, I think I'd like to see yeah. that too. But in the meantime, let's take it to the cage and make this thing official. Sounds good. All right, gentlemen, can I get both fighters to the center of the cage, please? Both fighters to the center of the cage. Do me a favor, gang. You know what to do. Make some noise. Your winner, two minutes, 24 seconds into round number two by TKO. Out of the right corner, Daniel Munoz Perez. Perez Brothers undefeated tonight, man. Daniel, go ahead and take that mouthpiece out. I'm here with your winner, Daniel Munoz Perez. Daniel, how are you feeling right now, man? Tired. Yeah, I can, I can imagine. Did anything happen in that fight that caught you off guard? He had a nice quick kick. You know, that kick came fast. Yeah, that spinning back kick right in the first round. All right, is there anyone you want to thank tonight? Um, just my family, anyone that showed up. What's up? All right, are you going to come back and do this for us again? Yeah, I think so. All right, man. Well, we can't wait to see you come back. Congratulations. Everyone give it up for your winner, Daniel Munoz Perez. Perez Brothers MMA undefeated tonight. Make some noise for those boys.